Hey, what's up in your world? I'm uh, up on the bus, and let's talk about things that didn't work and how we can improve them. We're talking about uh, aerodynamics on a solar rack. We have the big bus conversion meetup coming up and uh, gonna be putting some more miles on us and uh, these air dams, here, I'll point them at right there, that uh, we installed last year, uh, one is gone completely and the other one isn't, is gonna be gone pretty quick if I don't uh, do something about it. So I've came up with a plan on how to make these last longer and to actually be a little bit more functional. Let me show you what happened to the what we installed before and then I'll show you what we are going to install. Also, this is, I've been cleaning off this side of the roof. Uh, it used to look really, really bad. I'm trying to get everything cleaned up for uh, Schoolie UP. Although we're not a schoolie, they have let us come. That's pretty dirty, that's actually pretty clean compared to what it was over here. It was so nasty. Okay, so, um, I made these out of scrap aluminum from the, uh, actually from the inside sidewalls of an MC9. That's what this bus is. And over the last, I don't know, 10,000 miles, just blown in the wind. That's what's happened to that piece right there. So that is not gonna last long term anyway uh the other one we took that one off because it was in worse shape than this and it actually come off once before in montana last year uh, oh, that time it had ripped off right there and as you can see that is fatigued there as well i'm gonna say that this doesn't work yeah i don't know if it's uh you know i'm not i'm not a metallurgist if uh, the aluminum was too thin, it wasn't secured down well enough, or it was my bending method, I don't know. Uh, but we've got something better. Let me show you what that is. So this is what I have planned here, and this is HDPE plastic. I'm pretty sure this is the same stuff they use in hockey arenas. As you know, my uh, I live a double life as a bus conversion person and a hockey goalie. There's Coco down there and my gear is drying. Um, let me show you what I'm doing here. You can see I already have some rivets on here. I took some aluminum uh, L bracket material, eight feet of it cut, it, cut it in half, cut an angle on it there, and this stiffens it up quite a bit because normally this stuff is pretty wobbly as you can see even just you know sideways it's not very sturdy so that's going to provide the strength to it so the idea is uh, we put it here kind of where the old one was and this time rather than using screws i'm going to use rivets i've really gotten into using rivets lately and uh, i will have to build a bracket on the solar panels here to connect there but I think this is gonna work a lot better and keep us a little bit more aerodynamic the other thing I'm thinking about is actually putting uh, getting more of this because it wasn't that expensive it was like I think 60 bucks a sheet for a 4x8 sheet of it is running it all the way along the side here then to kind of make this a little bit more slippery through the air as you can imagine, a bus has the aerodynamics of a brick, so anything we can do to improve it is helpful, especially when we're getting anywhere from five and a half to six and a half miles per gallon. So that is what I'm working on here. And we've got one more of those to make. So I think I may jump into that, show you how I do that real quick. Not that, not that it's all that difficult, you feel free to skip ahead. If I haven't said this before, build yourself a rolling scaffold. I use this thing all the time, all the time. All right, so this is the uh, aluminum that I used. 
and you can see this is the the way I cut the uh, the one side. Here's how I cut the other side. I just did this on my table saw. Uh, nice thing about aluminum is table saw blade will cut it just fine. Just wear some eye protection. Uh, and then I got a, my piece of HDPE. And this is uh, two feet wide this way. And I ended up going 46 inches this way. I cut two inches off. I probably could have left it at 48. Uh, so I still have a four by four sheet uh, here for other activities, who knows what. Where would I put my drill? If I was a drill, where would I go? <sighs> it was right behind the camera. You can kind of see here, I've got a little board underneath here so I don't go into my uh, tabletop. And I just do one on each side. Forgot something. So this is the fastener I'm using. This is a uh, fourth inch by half inch rivet. Although, let's talk about rivets real quick and where you get them from. This is Harbor Freight, okay? This is the Harbor Freight rivet. This is a half inch by fourth inch aluminum rivets from Menards. Same, same thing, as far as I can tell. This is the difference in them. I don't know. <laughs> I'm being lied to by someone. So, uh, in this case, this rivet works a lot better um, than this one. I'll save this for other applications where I need that extra depth. So, what I've been doing is test fit it Sometimes I gotta, I gotta wallow out this hole a little bit. Because drills don't drill perfectly square or perfectly round holes. I've heard there are drills that drill square holes. I don't know, maybe you get those where you get blinker fluid. All right, then the, when I've got the ends done, then I like to flip it over and actually connect these two up and then I do the rest. I just need to wallow this one out a little bit. It was not this much trouble with the first one that I did. No, that's not gonna go anywhere. So, then what I did is just went ahead and marked every six inches. So then I drill those holes and put those in. See how much faster that went now that I got the ends put on? Well, the camera turned off there while I was working. It wasn't too difficult to see what I did there. Just did the rest of the rivets and then uh, I'm gonna do the same with this piece. And then I think I'm probably gonna call it a night and we will uh, get back to work in the morning. And Well, here we are another day. Uh, I was hoping to get at this in the morning before it got too hot, but uh, had to get the kids going on their Saturday morning chores and it turned into early afternoon here. 
Uh, so we're trying to stay cool with this cooling towel. Uh, good news is I got the other one done, not a problem. And uh, I also, well, let me show you what I'm doing for the uh, supports here. I've got to transition this into something that bends down a little bit. So here's a piece of aluminum I'm going to be using. Again, this is some of that scrap aluminum left over from the demolition. Um, I just cut it, eight, eight inch piece, plan on sticking it right there, and then I can bend it to the angle I need, and then I will rivet onto this top side here. On the attachment side, I am gonna be using these zinc plated uh, hex screws. Before I was using just these little self-tapping machine screws, and although they never pulled out of the solar panel, uh, I do want to make sure that I can remove it. So I'm going to be riveting here and riveting to the flat part here, this little bracket. Uh, but uh, I will be screwing the bracket there so that if I need to replace this panel, I can. And if I really need to pull that out, I can drill those rivets out. That's not a big deal. is on there pretty well and I'm gonna try and reuse the old holes I had before and we should be good no sense in showing you all these I just got to do this three more times and then we will be in business all right so there they are and I'm actually thinking, I don't think I even have to notch for that uh, support on the solar panel. Uh, I might just let it uh, just ride up a little bit more. I think that maybe that'll be more aerodynamically clean. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna start by attaching the far one there and then uh, work my way to this one. So what I'll probably do is do that one off camera and then I'll show you what it looks like and then how I do it on this side. Because then hopefully I've already figured out all the wrong ways to do it and now I'm on to the right way to do it. Well, I waited until uh, the evening now when it's not brutally hot. I was actually sweating so much putting this on that uh, I started to slip off the roof and that's not good. Uh, but I did successfully get the uh, other aero air dam, whatever we're gonna call it, uh, I got that on there and uh, let's show you how that worked, how that turned out. So this is uh, the final product there. You can see it's got uh, this HDPE plastic worked really well. Uh, it handled the compound curve pretty well. I do plan on probably putting a little coat of paint on this when I touch up the paint on the roof as well. But I think it looks pretty good. So now we got to get to the other one over there. All right, here we go. Getting the first one in is always the hardest. And all I really care about is getting this aligned. Whatever happens after that, I don't care. Again, I don't really care how it's sitting on there now, just as long as this hole gets in there. The trickiest part is pressing down and... Doing that part.
Okay, so we got that part taken care of. Top is looking pretty good now. The trick is, how am I gonna align it? I pushed the other one as far as I could this way. You can see there's some give in it. Cause I was trying to make it as straight as I could. Cause like I said in the future, I could see myself putting another piece right here all the way along the edge to really uh, clean up the airflow. So I think what I'm gonna do is start with all the way up here at the top. And I know some people are gonna be upset with me, but I'm doing uh, just silicone for the sealant here. Uh, I can't find any more of my lap sealant. Uh, I use lap sealant all the time, it's really good, but I think this is gonna be okay. You know, I know these, the ends of these are supposed to go into this little container here. I just can never get it to work, so I don't even have it on there all the time. I just pull them out the end. I'm just a little different. I think I've got a hole I can reuse here, so I'm gonna try and do that. But there's the other one on. Looks pretty good, I think. Let's see if that's going anywhere. Nope. Nope. You heard it here first. Not going anywhere. So that's kind of a look from here. But yeah, as you can tell, there's probably, you know, even a little bit of a side wind, you know, all of this is gonna be catching air then. You know, it doesn't take much. So at some point, maybe we want to cover all that up to really try and make it a little slipperier. It's about eight o'clock, it is still hot. You know, I'm really missing uh, being out in the Tetons. I wouldn't, would love to be out there, but we're not, we're here. We're uh, still having fun and doing things. So uh, it's that time of the video. If uh, you like this sort of content, uh, by all means, give us a subscribe, thumbs up. Uh, give us a comment down below, we'd love to hear uh, uh, from you what, what you'd like to see or uh, any questions you may have about this video or any other one, uh, feel free to drop us a line. All right, thanks. Bye.